my name is Ashley. Uh, I have experience about uh, a certain uh, lab in this town. Uh, I got fake results that I was not satisfied with. So it all started in uh, November uh, 2010. Uh, my dad uh, started in coffee. We didn't know what was happening. So he decided to go to a dispensary. Um, so he went to a dispensary and was administered uh, anti antibiotics. And then uh, he came back home, took the antibiotics. Unfortunately, he did not survive. He succumbed to death in February. All human beings are guinea pigs in the laboratory of God. But since humanity is a work in progress, there is need for checks and balances on quality of medication, laboratory personnel, medical training institutions and equipment here on earth. If you are going to diagnose a disease and you have no instrument or wherewithal to diagnose it, then you will not treat it. So the foundation of all medical science is really is pathology, knowing how to identify diseases, what causes them, and therefore knowing then how to proceed to treat. The Kenya Medical Laboratory Technicians and Technologies Board was formed by an Act of Parliament in 1999 to do just that, ensure all medical institutions provide proper medication through regulating the operations of all medical laboratories, professional conduct of lab technicians through certification and approval of training institutions, and laboratory facilities in Kenya. Kenya Medical Laboratory Technicians and Technologies Board is a, a board that was incorporated through an April Parliament in 1999 and promulgated in 2000 to regulate medical laboratory practice. From its current base at the SK Garden House along Gong Avenue, Nairobi, the Kenya Medical Laboratory Technicians and Technologies Board also formulates quality procedures to be followed in the medical laboratory practice. Besides monitoring, auditing, and inspecting laboratories and training institutions, making the board a key player in Kenya.